Hey, uh, Ryan, how you doing there? My name's Bill Norman, and I'm a master Sheltie groomer. Been uh, grooming Shelties for the past 35 years independently. Uh, that's professional and non-professional. Had them most of my life, and uh, I've gotten a bit of a knack when it comes to Shelties. In fact, I, where I was raised down in Fife, Washington, they called me the Sheltie Whisperer because I always, every time you looked over at me, I was whispering something in their ears of some kind of Sheltie dog. I was a big fan of Sheltie dogs growing up. My dad never let me have a Sheltie dog. Said, you, once you move out of this house, you can get yourself a Sheltie dog. So when I turned age 30, I got myself a Sheltie dog. It's probably about the first thing I did when I moved out of my folks' house. I got myself a Sheltie dog. You know what I did the next day, Ryan? I went and got myself another Sheltie dog. I kept doing that for the first week I moved out. I had myself seven Sheltie dogs in a small two-bedroom apartment down there in Fife, Washington. They were literally and figuratively coming out my ears. And I haven't looked back since. I've been collecting Shelties, grooming Shelties. I've been breeding Shelties. I've had a couple different Sheltie brew, uh, uh, breeds that have turned out quite nice. Some nice little looking offspring there with them Sheltie dogs. But also, Ryan, I've, uh, I'm a big feeder of Sheltie dogs. I experiment with what kind of things if Shelties like to eat. And I'll tell you, uh, you know, right here and now, just real quick, you do not want to sh feed a Sheltie dog human food. I'll tell you that, unless you want a mess on your hands. In fact, if you're going to feed a Sheltie, some of that uh, Sheltie dog, some of that human food, you might as well grab yourself a mop, because you're going to see a mess. And uh, that's why all my floors in my apartment there in five, linoleum or vinyl flooring, one of the two, you got yourself carpet, you might as well just get yourself ready for a steak fest, because that stuff doesn't clean up for nothing when it comes to Shelties. Now, the Sheltie dogs I have, I groom myself. I've got a lot of techniques I'd like to share with you. Maybe I could learn a couple things from your operation, your outfit down there, uh, up there actually in LaConnor. Um, it's just a small three-hour drive. I'm more than happy to do that. I bring my Shelties with me. They're a traveling gang, you know, we're a traveling show. And I'm the ringleader of them there, Shelties, but they're gorgeous animals. I'd love to see your Shelties. I'd love to get my hands on them, Shelties. And we'll see if we can make ourselves a good fit. Now, just get old Bill Norman a call, ready to talk to you whenever you're ready to talk, Ryan. I've got nothing going on today, so just call me anytime and I'll pick up and we can talk shop. All right, Ryan. Bill Norman. Talk to you later.